is exit velocity important? That is the question. Whether it is nobler to hit the ball hard as hell, I think so. Forgive me, I tried a bit of a Shakespeare thing there from his famous play, Romeo and Juliet. But seriously, the question, is exit velocity important? That, that's what we're going to talk about today. I believe it is definitely one of the most important things when it comes to power. Players that have the higher exit velocity numbers in the league usually hit the most home runs because exit velocity is the speed at which a baseball comes off the bat. The harder you hit the ball, the better chance of that ball going out past 400 feet. My name is Ryan Evans and welcome to Baseballogy, your only podcast about the study of baseball. Like I said earlier, this video is about exit velocity and why it may or may not be the most important thing in baseball when it comes to you know power. Over the last couple of years, something that I have realized through my college coaches and through other college and professional coaches is that exit velocity is one of the biggest things when it comes to hitting a home run. Like I said, the harder you hit the ball, the better chance you have of hitting the ball out of the park. Now something you may be thinking is power isn't everything, right? There is still such a thing as a contact hitter. You are absolutely correct. Not everybody is a power hitter. Not everybody can bash over 40 home runs in a year because every player is built differently. Let's look at some players in the MLB from players who are well-known power hitters to players that are well-known gappers and you know, just guys who get on base a lot. First, we are going to look at Miguel Sano. Miguel Sano is possibly one of the biggest power threats in the MLB. He has this, this huge frame and this leads to him having a lot of power. He is also in the top percentile of exit velocity, according to MLB Baseball Savant. Just want to let you guys know what my what my sources are. Two guys are in fact in that 100 percentile. This uh, this other guy is the one and only Fernando Tatis Jr., who had an amazing, insane season last year. So basically, Miguel Sano being in the top uh, percentile right breaks down to an average of 95.2 miles per hour with his uh, exit velocity. Uh, the other guy, like I said, Fernando Tatis, who just had an insane season. He, I think he is an example of how you can have power while having other great qualities as a baseball player like speed, contact, get on base, you know, so on and so forth, I, I could go on. Snow is a very good player, but he strikes out way too much, period. In 2020, he was in the 0 with percentile for strikeouts. He led the league in strikeouts at 90. This isn't a one-year thing either. In 2019, he sat in the same percentile in exit velocity and strikeouts as he did in 2020. In 2018, he was hurt. I, I believe he was hurt for most of the season, but if he was healthy, you know damn well he would have nearly the same numbers. Finally, going back to 2017, he had, I think, pretty comparable numbers, being in the bottom, like, 5 percentile uh in like strikeouts and uh, top five percentile for edge of velocity. This is a huge problem for power hitters like Miguel Snell. You know, they, they can hit 13 home runs in a short season, but absolutely cannot provide any other type of offense for their team. Set, second on the list, like I said, but still in the 100 percentile, is Fernando Tatis uh, Jr. Tatis had a 277 batting average, 366 on base, uh, 937 OPS, and had 17 home runs to add to that. If you look at the list of top exit velocities uh, in 2020, you will see that Miguel Sano was clearly the worst player to be on that list. In third, you have Yelich. Fourth, you have Mike Trout. Fifth, you have Matt Chapman. 
who's I pretty on par with Snow, I guess. They're they're about they're about even. Regardless, you see one thing in common with every top player on the list. They all have insane power. Almost all these guys have a big number of home runs every year. And I I believe that can only be explained by one thing. Exit velocity is the main factor in home runs, with you know the second factor being the launch angle. If if you're hitting the ball hard but you're hitting it right into the dirt, it's gonna be a ground out almost every time. If you're hitting the ball hard and up into the air, there's a there's a decent chance it might go out. It just depends, right? Now, if you if, if you're in Colorado, if you hit it up into the air, it's almost like an automatic home run. But just saying, you don't you don't have to be a power hitter in baseball though. There are some guys in the MLB that are able to thrive from hitting the gaps and getting cheap hits like Jeff McNeil. Not to say he only gets cheap hits. It's just that he is a contact hitter that doesn't hit to only hit home runs. Other guys who fit in that category, according to the numbers from last year, are Chris Bryant, Jose Altuve, Marcus Simeon, Yadier Molina, and D.D. Gregorius. All in the bottom 20% huh, in Eds of Velocity, but are still really good players that have made a good career in the MLB doing what they do best. Hitting the ball where the defense isn't and getting on base somehow. Eds of Velocity is really important when it comes to hitting home runs and hitting for power. I really do think major league players need to be hitting the ball really hard but I, I don't know if it is the most important thing because every player is kind of different in, in their own ways so if this video helped you see things in a different way or if you enjoyed the video give it a like make sure to subscribe to my channel more videos to come including some videos where I am going to pin two or three people against each other in a game of baseball jeopardy because who doesn't love baseball trivia Especially since I'm going to make it, like, good questions, not, like, impossibly hard. <laughs> I, I'm so excited to get started on those videos, but also, please, please, please don't hate me, because they're not going to be professional game show quality. I'm living on a college budget here, and this is something I'm trying to do for fun. So, with that, just keep a lookout for those videos uh, in the next week or two, and... Uh, thank you for tuning in to Baseballogy. Peace.